everyone, it's me, Tim, and today I'm going to talk about group riding safety tips for when you're traveling with other people on a motorcycle. Stick around. Tip number one is to keep a safe following distance. Give yourself a little bit of space between you and the person in front of you or behind you. This gives you a chance to stop if the person in front of you unexpectedly has to come to a stop or makes an unexpected turn. Just giving yourself enough space that you're not gonna hit the other person. I know as motorcycles, when we ride in groups, we wanna kinda of cluster together pretty tightly. Um, and it is a good idea to move as one unit and just kinda of be close together. But it's important when we're, when we're doing this that we at least leave a little bit of space for braking uh, and accounting for unexpected events. Tip number two is to use hand signals to communicate with one another, uh, assuming you don't have a Bluetooth communication between you and the other riders. Uh, you want some way to let people know what you're, what you're doing and what to expect coming up. Maybe warning people of a pothole, giving them a little extra time to avoid it. Uh, maybe they're about to make a turn or they're gonna pass somebody or they want you to maybe get in front of them. Um, just establish some hand signals or some way to communicate with one another when you're traveling in a group. This will really go a long way. Tip number three is to ride in formation. That means staggered. So you would have one person here and one person following back here. Uh, and then a person here and just stagger that way down the line. This gives you extra space when you come to a stop uh, because potentially you could end up stopping next to the person that you're riding behind as opposed to right up their butt. So definitely ride in formation. Uh, it's going to help for a lot of reasons to uh, visibility from other traffic and like I said it just gives you some extra braking room. Tip number four is to plan the route ahead of time and make sure everybody knows where you're going and where you're going to be stopping so that if somebody breaks off from the group or isn't going quite as fast as somebody else, everybody knows where they're going and where they're going to be meeting at the next stop. This is a nice way to allow people to ride their own ride. Sometimes people don't want to go as fast as the person in the front of the pack and they should be allowed to go at their own pace and know where to meet the group for lunch or gas stations. And tip number five, this is kind of universally whenever you're riding, but you want to ride with all of your protective gear. That means a helmet, gloves, jacket, pants, boots. Just make sure that you're wearing all the correct and appropriate riding gear that fits you and is safe and durable and will keep you comfortable on the bike too. Dry and hopefully warm or cool depending on the situation. Uh, it's just super important that you're wearing all of the right gear when you're traveling on a motorcycle in a group and even when you're not in a group. Anyways, those are the five tips for safely riding in a group. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.